together, it uh, was loud overnight. Some of those rain showers weren't showers. Those were downpours. Now we've had some downpours. It's east up right now, but I don't think we're through the wet weather just yet. We still have the next four or five hours to get through where we have the risk of additional showers. It's damp. There's drizzle enough that you'll likely have your windshield wipers on. Even as live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar here really shows some quieter conditions. Uh, what we've seen here over the last several hours are some heavy downpours and we've had quite a bit of rain now. We widen out the view. So this is what I'm tracking here, still pushing to the north towards our area. It's some lingering showers south of Long Island and Block Island. The general track here is up towards the north northeast. So we'll watch this batch. That appears to be the last of it. So again, by mid morning, things should be drying out. Headlines, the rain moves away for today. We've got dry winds that'll be moving in and picking up through the afternoon hours, followed by some cooler air starting to arrive tonight. And we'll really feel it as we get into the weekend. Now it's nothing unusually cold just to return to more average temperatures. Uh, these are rainfall totals so far over two inches now in Providence, almost two and a quarter in both Taunton and New Bedford. And this is over the last 36 hours. So basically started early yesterday morning and has gone through the nighttime an inch and a half over an inch and a half in Smithfield, almost an inch and three quarters in Newport and about an inch and a half in Westerly. So we did come in in that range between one and three inches of rainfall as we expected. Temperatures right now we're in the middle 50s in Smithfield, 57 in Providence, warmer at the coastline 66 in westerly newports at 66 and new bedford all the way up to 71 degrees. Now that milder air will continue to push inland through the morning hours and we have a good chance everywhere of coming up very close to 70 degrees for an afternoon high. Damp start areas of fog at the bus stop this morning still needing a raincoat in the morning hours about 55 to 65. Here's the bigger picture on satellite and radar and you can see where the rain has just moved through overnight. These additional showers south of us. Big storm system over the Great Lakes. We are seeing those south and west of us drier air that will punch in to our area as we get into the late morning. So again, wet, foggy, damp at the start of the day. By 11 o'clock, we're starting to see some breaks in the cloud cover. And the afternoon certainly looking much drier. Here's that future cast. This has it by 10 o'clock. The last shower is lifting to our north. And then we'll see dry and a mix of sun and clouds for the remainder of the day. And that includes for the evening commute. Should be an easier trip home than what we had yesterday evening. 68 in Charlestown, 70 for the high in Hope Valley today. Windy and mild, a mix of sun and clouds. Those winds out of the south, southwest at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Sustained higher gusts. 68 in Burrow close to 70 and situate and the temperatures this afternoon should come in in the upper 60s to around 70 for southeastern Massachusetts. Drying out, windy and seasonably mild. On the bay there is a small craft advisory. Visibility is poor this morning and then it'll improve as we get into the afternoon hours. High tides at 216, low tide at 712 this morning. I still expect it to be pretty blustery for tomorrow as well. Uh, we've got temperatures overnight dipping into the upper 40s for tonight. Uh, Friday looks like a mix of sun and clouds, a temperature around 64 and the weekend looks dry, cool temperatures are right around 60 to 62 and nighttime low.